<clears throat> Hello vinyl community, I'm back to do uh, recent vinyl finds and I'm actually going to do two videos today. This is the first one with the new uh, finds and I'm also going to do a best of 2015 finds video. I've uh, been planning that for a while and choosing 10 records in order of best finds. But that's coming up. Um, today I have a huge stack. So this is going to take a while, but if you're not interested in, in different records, uh, just skip ahead here. Here's the timeline. Skip ahead and take the next one. Starting off with pop, rock, metal, prog, jazz and soundtracks. Then moving on to the Swedish stuff. Uh, but first off, playing in the background. A recommendation from Anders that I've never heard of before. And I'm so glad to have it in my, in my collection now because it's a fantastic record. Morning Glory by, uh, or featuring John Sermon, John Marshall, Terry Lupedal, Chris Lawrence, John Taylor and Malcolm Griffith on Island Records, uh, 1973, live performance, fantastic, fusion-y, and at parts a little bit spiritual, it's especially the first song, Cloudless Sky, I got a vibe of spiritual, but I don't know, maybe just... Maybe just me. Thank you so much for the recommendation, Anders. Fantastic record. But rock. I bought this mainly for the cover. Uh, and it's a cool cover, isn't it? Uh, the Eric Burden band Stop. Uh, Eric Burden from The Animals. Went on to do like funk rock with war and yeah, the Eric Burden band. Uh, and I don't know. You had like Alan Taylor, Ian Sterling, uh, Terry Ryan keyboard uh, 1975 this is it's not a good record it's, it's an okay rock record I don't think I'll, I'll play it that many times but it's a cool piece to have if you collect vinyl um, so it's staying it was dirt cheap so that's why moving on to some good music and this is may, maybe it's just me that thinks this is good um, this is the Dillinger escape plan Miss Machine that was released 2004 yeah, on uh, Relapse Records, I think. And this is the second press, the, the reissue from this year, and it's on like splatter green, purplish uh, vinyl. And I don't like colored vinyl, but that looks cool. Uh, limited to 1500 copies. And if you don't know Dylan Escape Plan, it's a mathematical metal band, and I don't think they like that term, but I don't know how to describe it uh, otherwise. In the same vein as, as Meshuga, they also have influence by Faith No More, uh, and I can hear some John Sorn in there as well because you know they go from these kind of melodic parts uh, to pure chaos, and it's fantastic. 2005, I listened to that uh, so much; it was on a lot of lists for the best record that year and stuff like that. So I listened to it a lot, but when I saw they did a reissue, I jumped on that. Moving on to the prog, this is the French band Magdema, and it's the live record, I think it's the fifth one, 1975, on RCM, this is the US Press 2LP, uh, 2LP set, and it's my introduction to Magma. Uh, I've been looking for Magma records for maybe, I don't know, three, four years, never saw one uh, for a decent price, uh, but I wanted the vinyl experience, I didn't want to listen to them online. Uh, so I finally have one piece and it was dirt cheap, uh, 10 bucks I think I paid for that. And I'm gonna search for earlier stuff with them. So 1975, going back to 1970 with the earlier stuff. I think that's what I'm gonna focus on. See if I can find some more. Magma, awesome record. If you like prog. And if you like kraut, uh, this is highly recommended. Amundul 2's Yeti from 1970. This is a 2009 reissue on Revisited Records and has a barcode and everything. But this is the same thing. I, I don't have any uh, Amundul uh, records and I want the vinyl experience. When I saw this being a reissue in perfect condition uh, for a, a decent price, I, I bought it. It was my time to, to see what all the fuss was about. And it's fantastic, man oh man, one of the best crowd rock records in, in um, it's, it's more rocky and, and more uh, easy to listen to than maybe Can, uh, and Can is still 
better but it's hard to like compare the two but if you like can and other prog rock and crowd bands check it out but most of you know that record uh, finally uh, got a mint condition version of this box shut up and play your guitar by Sapa uh, you see these all around uh, and they are not expensive uh, but getting one for a great price like 10 bucks I think I paid for it 10 12 bucks for three LP set in mint condition uh, it was my time to get it 1981 on Barking Pumpkin Records uh, and it's just small edited parts of guitar solos just guitar 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 on three records fantastic if you're a Sapa fan fan moving on to the jazz uh, this was a record I got from Anders uh, as a gift uh, it's the latest things the blues by uh, Billy Holiday and man what a great record this is I think we we talked about maybe a second or a third press second press maybe uh, it's the verb but with the clef records logo and it says here to clef series uh, I have Lady in Satin uh, before and now I have Lady Sings the Blues also and I said to Anders that Strange Fruit is one of my favorite songs of all time and finally having it on a early 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 press uh, on vinyl that sounds good uh, that still is intact is just amazing we played that yesterday morning when we uh, came up and made breakfast and what a fantastic record it is thank you so much Anders moving on to another find Blue Note uh, a lot of people have shown this at the VC uh, Blackbird by Donald Bird Soul Jazz from 1973 and this is on the dark blue blue note uh, label I think it's a second press but the first first press was also on that dark blue I'm, I'm pretty sure um, yeah this is a great very easy to listen to and get into a uh, blue note record so if you if you if you're not a jazz fan but you want to explore the genre I mean start with this it's I mean do yeah, do it and and explore around this. It's good uh, and easy to to get into a record. And last jazz record on the international scene is this one that I needed to to uh, yeah moving forward completing my Miles collection. Uh, get up with it from 1974, and this is almost like an outtake record of to help set of material from his uh, electric period 1972-1974 with I mean a lot of those electric guys uh, John McLaughlin, Herbie Hancock, Keith Jarrett uh, all the guys guys back in the day great record if you like his electric period with In a Silent Way, uh, Vicious Brew, uh, even uh, um, oh, man uh, Fuck it, it's the it's the record to to uh, go to. Two soundtracks. I don't know. Maybe I've shown this in my my last video, but uh, I'll I'll show them again. Uh, Tarkovsky movies, Stalker, uh, Stalker, <laughs> and the Mirror, and Solaris, 1972, and I think 74 and 75, 6. Uh, both uh, issued 2013. Uh, this uh, no, this Solaris record was also issued when the movie came out in 1973 or 74, 72, <laughs> uh, but with a different cover and stuff like that. And this is brand spacking new. Uh, I don't think that the, the material of the song has been released before, but I can be mistaken. I think that I saw Chris Basket show this, like when it came out in 2013, early 14 maybe. And I was so jealous. Uh, started looking for it online, but the shipping prices was too damn uh, steep. So I waited, and I found this in a store in Stockholm. Uh, so I just skipped the shipping price, uh, paid full price, but I, I didn't have to pay the, the shipping price. So it's it was time to to uh, break down and, and buy them. Now the Solaris record is awesome. It's really good. It's a good soundtrack with that kind of ambient uh, uh, sound by uh, Russian guy Edward Artemyev, Artemyev. Uh, it's good but 
this one is the record to go to, in my opinion. Just magnificent, fantastic uh, soundtrack uh, by the same by the same guy, especially the Stalker uh, part. I think it's the the second side. It's it's mind blowing. Check this out. Uh, yeah, you won't be disappointed, and no one of you that watches this will be disappointed. I don't think so. So moving on to the Swedish stuff. Finally have a copy to, to add to the collection of Deliverance and uh, Damnation. This is the, the new uh, release by Opeth. Uh, they released both those records in one package. Three LP set, two LPs is the, the Deliverance record and one, the last record, is the Damnation record. Now I didn't buy the music on vinyl versions of these uh, when they came out. Because I have these on CD and I played them so many times, I know them inside out. Uh, but with this package, getting both for almost like the price of one, a little bit more expensive, was it was time to to break down and buy them. They sound terrific, uh, and there's new mixes of uh, the Deliverance record by Steve Wilson and another guy did Deliverance. <laughs> yeah, amazing. If you like Opus, if you like the record. Uh, if you don't have it, that's the package to go to, in my opinion. And I also bought Blackwater Park. Uh, this is the 2010 Music on Vinyl Edition. 2LP set. Don't need to talk about that. If you're an Opeth fan, you know about it. I discovered them in 2004-05 when the Ghost Rem Rem Reveries came out. And that's still my favorite record of those, of them, of the, they, of them. Uh, but I went back in their catalog. Uh, first Blackwater Park fell in love with it, and then uh, Deliverance and Damnation. Um, so I played them so many times. Uh, but it's cool to have on vinyl. And I'm not a, I'm not a Opeth collector, but I'm moving ahead having all their studio material. Uh, I think I, I, I lack the two, first two records. So, Swedish prog, and this is prog prog, uh, Gudebrallan ut i vår hage on the famous Silence record label that we all know and love. This is with the red backside, which means it's a first press, the second press was white. And Gudi uh, translates in English to uh, God in my pants. And uh, it's, it's political prog uh, with kind of a punkish feel for being 1969-70. So maybe it's the start of, of the punk movement, but five, ten years before its time, I don't know. They played on, on the f famous Jad uh, festival uh, or concert in Stockholm. Um, and uh, yeah, well known in the prog circuit. Now the music, I, I'm not a huge fan of the music, I have to be honest. Uh, it's too political, it's too wordy, they, they, they don't play that good, but as a historical piece it's significant and it's awesome to have in the collection. It's not a cheap record to find, it's pretty expensive, uh, and I got it as a Christmas gift from one of my dear old friends, uh, Jan, Jan Olofansson, and I think he knew about it, like that's a record that Jonas will never buy, uh, but he would like to have it in the collection. Uh, so. Fantastic gift. He doesn't watch my videos, so I can say, say anything I want about Janne. But he's a great guy. Um, moving on to a little more rockier, uh, but still in the, I think, still in the prog catalog of Swe Swedish prog. Hokai Fransen, Visa from Jupik, uh, 1969 or 70. 69. And it's like this. Uh, Hawkeye Francien was incarcerated, put in prison, uh, because he refused to do the, the military you know, circus that we all have in Sweden. You have to do the, the drill or whatever you want to call it. He, he didn't want to do that, so they throw him in jail. And in jail, he found this guy also sitting there for the same reason, Björn Jason Lind. And along with Björn Jason Lind, they wrote material uh, to this. And Jupik is the name of the prison. Uh, so songs from Jupik. Uh, they did the material, they came out, they recorded a record and Björn Jason Lind moved on to record his record, solo, first solo record. Um, 
and they also form Jason's Fleece after uh, th those two uh, solo records. I've looked for this for a lot of years. I've never seen a, a physical copy of this, but it's not super expensive. Uh, but you never see it. Uh, and I found it online and I bought it, got it for a great price. Uh, I was so happy that day. And the music is fantastic if you like that sort of like, yeah, but rockier prog. You have Red Mitchell on it, you have uh, Kenny Håkansson playing uh, guitar. Um, and who else? Yeah, someone else from the. Yeah, Jan, Jan Lof Karlsson from Hansson Hansson Karlsson is playing uh, drums on it. So that's it. Uh, I have three more records to show you, and now it's jazz. And I'm gonna start with this uh, 1964 uh, in Pleno, the Jan Johansson record. Look at that cover, man! Isn't it nice? Fantastic cover. Just look at it. Piano, uh, magician. Um, John Johansson with Gio Riedel, uh, René Gustafsson, Jörg Johansson and Robert Klemendor. Um, this is a fantastic record of his and my second favorite in his catalog. I heard it the first time or the second time I was at Anders' place and I've looked for a copy ever since and it broke down when I was there visiting him. Uh, we found it in a store and I finally have it in my uh, John Johansson collection. My favorite is uh, Jasper Svenska. It's yeah, can't beat that. And now the, sec the last two is Moserobi music production releases. The first one, a brand new, newly recorded uh, record by Svenska Kaputt called Somi. Uh, and Jonas Kullhammar is the man behind the, the record label. Uh, here along with Reine Fiske, Tobian Zetterberg and Johan Holmgaard on drums. And this, uh, if you heard the first Svenska Kaputt record, you won't be disappointed. This is maybe a little bit more laid back, uh, but beautiful. Moving from uh, almost ambient to jazz to prog, and I think that's because Rainer Fiske is, is, is uh, involved here. Um, check it out. Uh, highly, highly recommended. Uh, yeah, check it out. And their newest release, the reissue of the very sought after Swedish uh, classic free jazz record Utan Misstankar by Gilbert Holmström Quintet. Uh, and I don't know any of these guys on Larsson, Klaus Fälling, Fälling, Hans Lövman, Anders Söderling. Recorded in 1965. Um, this is, Anders has an uh, original of this. I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Um, it's fantastic. 1965. Uh, the, 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 the things that these guys are doing is just mind blowing. Uh, and it's beginning to be one of my favorite uh, jazz records I've ever heard coming from Sweden in the more freer, uh, more out there kind of uh, part of it. It's not Jasper Svenska. It's much more, much, much more uh, freer than that. Uh, check it out. Uh, I don't know what to say. I have to listen to it more. I've, I've played it two times now and it's getting better every time. Uh, yeah, sh check it out. If you're a jazz fan, check it out. If you like Swedish jazz, it's no brainer. But free jazz, you won't be disappointed. I can't imagine you being disappointed. Limited to, to 480 copies uh, and it's. Uh, they sent, I think, 100 copies immediately went to Japan. So if you want it, you have to get it now, 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 now. So that's it. 19 minutes. Have a great day, everybody. And next video is the best of 2015.